It's another Saturday at the Gateway Gallery. The unprecedented, fabulous, outstanding works of John Stokes, the profound statement photographer, is on display on the front-facing wall. I have the doors barred because had I opened the doors today, the crowds would be here, and I don't think I could uh, hold them back from clamoring over the artwork of the profound statement, John Stokes. Oh, uh, here comes one now. Whew, she got passed without coming in. Thank you. Here is an artist, uh, outstanding work, Robert Butler, will be here presently in our gallery demonstrating his highwayman talents. Stay tuned for further information. Oh my gosh. As you can see, uh, he has yet to complete his wall of beauty. not to like about a deer under a stand. And just feast your eyes upon this. I am. The crowds aren't. Oh, I could go on and on, but I've got to tend to important affairs. I've got to read some Yates. Some odd and important things. Oops. Fine work down here. I think Vicky is one of my favorite artists. And you can see why. Outstanding work. Wonderful work. Herb Ellis, the perennial first place winner at all of our local judge paid and financed by him shows. Ha uh ha. -huh. The unprecedented work of Aunt a Chance. You would not take a chance if you bought some of her work and displayed it prominently in your attic, which unfortunately is what happens with most work. And up and north of the upper Swanee, where her studio was located beside Bell Spring, should be in New York galleries. She's in Lake City, and fortunately for us, enough cannot be said for the work of Anne. Are the crowds clamoring? Yes. But it's to their loss, our gain. I leave you with the black bear. It could be anywhere, but it is here. Have a bearable day.